Hello guys, my name is Kim Mujike, I'm a CD teacher. I'm going to teach you about console input and output. So let's begin. All right, let's let's begin with a question. What is the console? Console is simply a window uh, to which users can interact with the console application or with other system programs of the operating system. Uh, the interaction between the user and the program consists of text input from the standard input or text display on the standard outputs. Most of the time, the standard input is keyboard and the standard output is screen. But you can have other means to the display outputs or to display text for example you can use file or you can use printer so those actions are called input output operation the text written on the console brings some information and in a sequence of characters and one by one or more or as a whole. For each console application, the operating system connects input and output peripheral devices. As I mentioned before, the input out and output devices are most commonly the keyboard and computer screen. How does the user communicate with the program? There are different communication ways. There are different communication ways. Uh, for example, you can mention the graphical user interface, the web-based user interface, or the console, or other way. But in console application, we use the input-output peripheral device corresponding with the standard input output you can use so when do we have to use the console there are two cases that we have to use console application uh, that we need to use the black window console application one is when you are writing a small and a very simple program where it is necessary to focus on the attention to solve the specific problem rather than the elegant representation of the result to the user like using the graphical user interface or the web based user interfaces. Another case is when we want to test a small piece of code for a large complex application. So instead of uh, testing, testing uh, piece of task in a large complex application, you can use you can use the console application. So these are the two cases. Uh, there are different ways to launch your console. For example, I'm using Windows 10. You can press Windows key and then go to all apps, then scroll down until you find Windows systems. Then here it is. You can open it as administrator by right click, right clicking on this command prompt, and then select more than one as administrator. So once you launch it, the application, it will automatically display uh, this kind of black screen. Let me show you. I already have pinned the common form to my startup. So simply, I just click on this icon, then it displays this black screen.
uh, program in Windows can be either console based, disk, desktop based, or web based, or internet rich. Okay. The console based programs use the console for their input and output. Desktop basic programs use graphical user interface. Web basic programs use web based user interface. Okay. <coughs> now let's focus on the standard input output. It is sometimes abbreviated as standard IOO which is a system input output mechanism that allows users to interact with console application. Uh, when the program is in the mode of accepting information and expects action by the user, there is a blinking cursor on the console showing that the system is waiting for command interrupt. For example, this is in the mode of accepting information from the user. It is blinking. Printing to the console. If you want to print to the console, we use the standard output. If you want to accept a user input, then you have to use standard input. Standard input and standard output. Uh, in C sharp, we use standard input string, which is console.in, standard output string, which is console out, and standard error string, which is console.error. To rate user input to print information into the output device or to display some signal for signal or error message for problem situation in the program respect. The device for console input and output are keyboard and computer screen most commonly, but we can also use file, microphone, barcode readers, printers, and so on. Console dot out string. System dot console class has different purposes and methods which are used to read and display text on the console as well as its formatting. Some of these are console.out, console.in, console.error, but these methods are rarely used. Also, they are used rarely, but it provides access to standard strings for printing on the console for reading from the console to display error messages if there are some errors in the program using console.right and console.right console line. We can use both methods to print all the basic types like the strings and numbers primitive types. The difference between write and write line method is uh, write printers on the console while is, is provided between the printers but does nothing in addition while the method write line means directly write line as its name implies. So it does what write method one does but in addition it goes to a new line in fact the method doesn't print a new line 
but simply put a command for moving cursor to the position where the new line starts. This is by using a command called backslash r followed by backslash n. This is the right command which enforces to create a new line. So that's the difference. Uh, we can display text, format text using right and right line methods. Uh, for printing long and elaborate uses billing special options also known as overloads of the methods have been introduced. Those options have a completely different concept than the standard method for printing in specials. The main idea to adopt a special string formatting with special formatting characters and list of values it should be served in place of the format specifiers. It is appropriate to mention that actually the new line command on Windows is backslash r backslash n. But this matrix console methods like the right and right line can consider the backslash n as backslash r and backslash n. That's why we mostly use only backslash line. But if we write it into a file, backslash n is wrong. Instead, you have to use the unique basic operating system comma which enforces to create the new line which is backslash r backslash n. Composite format. The methods for format the output of the console class use so-called compose formatting feature which has two things. Composite formatting string and series of arguments which are placed in certain place in the string. I mean the arguments are replaced in between the string. What is a composite formatting string? Composite formatting string is a mixture of normal text and formatting items. The normal text is the text to be displayed. Formatting items are the things to be replaced by the arguments. In formatting the normal text, we mean the same as in the string and the place of formatting items are replaced by the values of the respective arguments printed according to the certain words. For example, the formatting item syntax is like should be in between opening and closing curly bracket. Then we have to specify index. The alignment and formatting strings are optional, but if you want to use the alignment should be separated by comma from the index and the formatting string should be uh, separated from the alignment and the index by preceding it with a uh, colon. What is the index component? The index component is an integer and indicates the position of the argument from the argument list. The first argument, it is actually zero base indexing. The first argument in the argument list is indicated by the, the second one is by one. The composite formatting string allows having multi, multiple formatting items that relate to one or more arguments. In this case, index component of those items is one of the same. There is no restriction on the sequence of arguments called you can have unlimited number of arguments. In case where some of the arguments are not re 
differences by any of the formatting items, the arguments are ignored. Maybe in case you are referencing a formatting item, I mean, in case you are referencing an argument that doesn't exist in the argument list, then an exception is so for example if you have listed two or three or one arguments and if you specify this placeholder formatting item then it shows an exception because to specify this formatting placeholder item you have to have at least five arguments in your argument list. What is the purpose of alignment component? Alignment component is option and indicates the string alignment either to the right or to the left. If it, if it is positive then it indicates to the right. If it is negative it indicates the alignment is to the left. The formatting component this component specifies formatting of your string. You can have three format string components. One is argument for numerical type, argument for date type, argument for enumeration type or listed types. Format string components for number. This type format string has two substrings. Standard defined formats and user defined formats or custom format strings. Let's look at the standard formats for numbers. The formats are defined by one of several format specifiers. They are letters with particular importance. After the format specifier, there can be a positive integer called precision, which has a different meaning for different specifiers. For example, C for currency, D for integer numbers, E for exponential notation, A for integers or decimal numbers, N to the equivalent to F, but represents L to the corresponding separator for thousands, millions. If you have 1000, there should be a comma in between 1 and equal 0. P for percentage. X displays the number in hexadecimal number system. Uh, the console application automatically retries the operating system culture setting which specifies the uh, setting of string formatting for example if it is English and if you are displaying currency it specifies and it precedes it with dollar sign for Japanese culture the currency is displayed by adding the symbol after the amount. So it is added suffix or prefix to the currency. Custom formats for numbers. All formats that are not standard are assigned to the user format. Example. 0 indicates a digit, hash indicates a digit, dot is decimal separator, comma th thousand separator for restricted culture, percentage multiplied the result by 100 and print the character for percentage. Format string components for dates. D 
d this kind of format is displayed small d capital d the month date year t our ending is on capital t our end and second capital y or y months and years are displayed custom bit format we can use b dd and m the difference between d and dd there is from one to zero one dd it starts from zero one which means all the values in dd are uh, with two digits format string enumeration component enumerations are data types that can take as value one of several predefined positive parts example the seven days of the week monday tuesday or two sundays in enumeration there is very little to be formatted for standard formats to spare like j represents enumeration as a string which means monday is displayed as a string d represents enumeration as a number monday is displayed as a number there because monday is the first day of the week x represents as a number of number in hexadecimal number system and we eight digits formatting strings and localization mm -hmm. uh, as i mentioned before the console application automatically retrieves the localization of the operating system but it can uh, change it manually by using system dot globalization culture info so you can change it from english to french or to japanese chinese or amharic or uh, tigrinya or other languages supported by operating system console input console input uh, is part of the operating system i mean Part of the official programming language, uh, it helps the users to interact with the console program by input values, by taking actions to input values. So, to input values using console application, you have to use. Uh, in C sharp, you have to use a class, the standard input string C sharp class called console. In this class, there are methods which helps to input data to receive input data from the user using the console dot uh, This has Uh, I have to read different data, text, and other types of C sharp data types after pressing the text like into numeric or into car or into boolean and so on. So to read the standard input string, you can use console.in, but this is rarely used instead you can use console.read and console.readLine the reason that why console.in console.out console.error are not commonly used is because of the combiner 
console to read line from a great command from reading from console. How does it work? When this method is invoked, the program prevents its work and waits for input from the console. The user enters down the stream from the console and presses enter key. At this moment, the console understands that the user has permission to enter the array. Rates of the string or the value, then the console read line returns string as a result after the user has pressed the enter key. The method read behaves slightly different than read line. At the beginning, it reads only one character and not the entire line. The other significant difference is that the method does not return directly the read character by its code. So if you want the value, the character value, not the code, you have to use the convert class to convert it or you can parse it. Another important characteristic of this method is the character is read only when the enter key is pressed. Then the entire string written on the console is transferred to the buffer of the standard input stream and the method read reads the first character of it. In subsequent invocations of the method, if the buffer is not empty, then the program execution will not stop and wait, but will directly read the next character from the buffer and does until the buffer is empty. So the better you read line, it is more convenient. Otherwise, console read uh, is uh, a method which is uh, highly prone to errors. Reading numbers. If you you cannot directly read numbers in C sharp. So you have to parse the string values return as a result from the uh, console that read line or console that read. You have to parse it, convert it. All primitive types have methods for parsing, like insert it to something. You can convert it, or you can use convert dot the string into primitive data type but if uh, the string that it passes into parsing method is if it is not as a, a number but for example if you want to convert it to insert it to end if the string is not a number that it shows exception so either you can use the uh, catching exceptions or exception exception methods or you can use condition pressing to the try press try press returns two values the person number and the boolean value as a result of the method invocation reading by console read key. The method console.read key waits for key pressing on the console and reads its character EQ1 without the need of pressing enter. So read key helps you to uh, get the key information by using the object of console key information so that you can uh, read the details of the case its code its value if you have used modifier and so on. thanks for watching this is all about the console input and output